subscribe to the channel and enable the bell icon to get instant notification of all updates hello my dear students so in this video we are going to see the most important computer awareness section which are usually asked in almost all competitive examinations so if you want to score 100 percentage of mark in computer awareness please watch both the videos part 1 and part 2 okay so this is the part 1 and we are going to uh, just look into the all the questions and uh, you will get definitely 100 percentage mark if you study this computer awareness questions okay yes so coming to the first question jigo stands for i will be giving you three seconds jigo stands for garbage in garbage out option a is the answer faulty inputs lead to faulty results it is known as question number second faulty inputs leads to faulty results it is known as jigo option c is the answer now coming to the third questions which of the following is or are characteristics of computer diligence versatility reliability all of the above answer is option d all of the above the coming to the fourth question coming to the fourth question the capacity to perform multiple tasks simultaneously is termed as the capacity to perform multiple tasks simultaneously is termed as option b versatility okay coming to the fifth question coming to the fifth question a computer does not suffer from tiredness and lack of concentration it is known as option a diligence coming to the sixth question first generator first generation computers used dash for circuitry and for memory answer is option c vacuum tubes and magnetic drums Coming to the seventh question, second generation computers were based on answer is option C transistor. Coming to the eighth question, flops stands for what does flops stands for? Answer is option A floating point operation per second. Floating point operation per second. Coming to the ninth question, which languages was used to perform second generation computers? Answer is option B, assembly language. So for second generation computers, assembly gen languages was used. Coming to the tenth question, EDSAC stands for, EDSAC stands for. Answer is option A. Electronic Delay Storage Automatic Computer Coming to the 11th question Instructions and data can be stored in the memory of computer for automatically directing the flow of operations It is called DASH concept So the answer is option A Stored Programming Coming to the 12th question Stored Program concept was developed by stored program concept was developed by it is option b von neumann option b von neumann is the answer so this is an important question please uh, keep this in mind this is very important i have seen these questions in various mock tests and uh, various other platforms okay coming to the 13th question electronic discrete variable automatic computer edvac was designed on concept Option A, Objective Programming, Option B, Stored Program, Option C, Both A and B, Option D, None of the above. Answer is Option B, Stored Program. Okay, so coming to the 14th question, which of the following was a small experimental machine based on Newman's Stored Program concept? Analytical Engine, Pascal Line, Manchester Mark 1, None of the above. Answer is option C, Manchester Mark 1. Please keep this in mind. This is question is very important. Okay. Please note this. 
the small experimental machine based on neumann storage program concept is manchester mark 1 this is very important please keep in mind coming to the 15th question third generation computers were based on option a ic option b vacuum tube option c transistor option d none of the above answer is option a ic integrated circuits Coming to the 16th question, in ETSAC an addition operation was completed in dash microsecond. This is also very important, please have a special eye on this. In ETSAC an addition operation was completed in dash microseconds. Answer is option D, 1500. Coming to the 17th question, ULSI stands for, ULSI stands for, answer is option A, ultra large scale integration ultra large scale integration option a is the answer which of the following is fourth generation computer answer is option a intel 4004 coming to the 19th question ic is made up of ic integrated circuit is made up of answer is option c transistor Coming to the 20th question, father of modern computer, this is a very important question. The answer is option B, Alan Turing. Very important, please keep in mind, father of modern computer is Alan Turing. A hybrid computer is the one having combined properties of. What is called a hybrid computer? A computer which have both the functions of analog and digital computers. Option D is the answer. This is also very important. Please uh, have a note on this. Uh, students, if I am saying that it is, this question is very important, it is always better to write it on a special note uh, or something, your general awareness section or anything, because uh, it has been previous, uh, repeatedly asked. That is why I am speaking like that, okay? So that is regarding it. Coming to the 22nd question, which of the following uses a handheld operating system? Which of the following uses a handheld operating systems? Answer is option A, option D, PDA. Okay. Which of the following is a handheld operating system? Answer is option D, PDA. Coming to the 23rd question, a terminal can display images as well as text. A terminal which can display images as well as text. Answer is option C, graphical. Terminal that can display images as well as text is graphical, okay? Coming to the 24th question, the word length of microcomputers lies in the range between. The word length of microcomputers is a very good question. Please have a note about it. The word length of microcomputer lies in the range between. Answer is option D, 8 and 32 bits, okay? Coming to the 25th question, the fastest and most expensive computers are the fastest and the most expensive computers are answer is option a supercomputers and also uh, this is also very important and while studying about this supercomputer please remember that india have a supercomputer param padma okay param padma param padma is india's supercomputer either they will be sometimes in the option they may given uh, they may be giving the supercomputer of india is uh, like param only they will be giving or sometimes they will give Padma so the actually the full name is Param and Padma so please keep an uh, eye on the supercomputers Param Padma okay so coming to the 26th question which of the following is the smallest and fastest computer imitating brain working this is also a very good question please have a special note on this which of the following is the smallest and fastest computer imitating brain working? Answer is option B, quantum computers. Coming to the 27th question. A dash terminal does not process or store any data. A dash terminal does not process or store data. Does not process or store data. So you can even guess the answer is, yes you are right. Option A, dump. Dump is the answer. Option A. Coming to the 28th question. The user generally applies to assess mainframe or supercomputer. The user generally applies to assess mainframe or supercomputer. Answer is option B, terminal. 
Coming to the 29th question, desktop and personal computers are also known as desktop and personal computers are also known as very easy question. Answer is option D microcomputers. Coming to the 30th question, graphical terminals are divided into two types. They are graphical terminals are divided into two types. They are very important. Please have a special note. Answer is option C vector mode and roster mode. Okay, vector mode and roster mode. Which language is used for artificial intelligence? Answer is option D prolog. Who coined the term artificial intelligence? Students, this is very important. Who termed the word artificial intelligence? Answer is option D John McCarthy. Dash is a computational model based on the structure of biological neural networks. Dash is a computational model based on the structure of biological neural networks. Very important question. Answer is option A. Artificial neural network. Coming to the 34th question. A neural network in which the signal passes in only one direction is called a neural network in which the signal passes in only one direction is called option a feed forward neural network 35th question dash is an artificial neural network with multiple hidden layers between the input and output layers answer is answer is option a deep neural network okay the most famous recurrent neural network is the most famous recurrent neural network is perceptrons, radial basis networks, Hopfield net, none of the above. Answer is option C, Hopfield net. Please have a special note, that's also very important. Coming to the 37th question, which neural network allows feedback signal? Which neural network allows feedback signal? Answer is option B, recurrent neural network. This is also very important. Have a special note. This uh, neural network, uh, the network allowing feedback signal is recurrent neural network. Coming to the 38th question, which of the following is or are applications of neural network? Which of the following is or are applications of neural network? Answer is option D. All of the above. Pattern recognition, mobile computing, speech reading. Coming to the 39th question, which algorithm is used in layered feed-forward neural network? Which algorithm is used in layered feed-forward neural network? Answer is option A, back propagation algorithm. Please have a special note. Question seems to be important. I don't know whether it is uh, repeatedly asked or but it seems important. Which algorithm is used in layered feed-forward neural network? Answer is back propagation algorithm coming to the 40th question radial basis function rbf networks have how many layers how dash layers rbf networks have how many layers answer is option d three have a special note it's also very important coming to the 41st question the chip used in computers is made of the chip used in computers is made of it's very easy question answer is option a silicon this question may be asked. Uh, this question has a chance of asking in the examination, but it's a very easy question, and most of you will make it correct. I believe like that. Coming to the forty-second question, fourth generation computers were based on. That is also very important. That is uh, almost everyone we all have used that computer. Fourth generation computers. They uses microprocessors. Coming to the forty-third, the first computer language developed was. This is also very important question. And very easy also. Answer is four time option D. Coming to the forty fourth question, the first calculator that can perform all four arithmetic operations: addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, was known as addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division was operated. The first calculator that can perform was step reckoner. Okay, this is very important. Step reckoner. They may be asking this question. 
coming to the 45th question the first computer spreadsheet program was the first computer spreadsheet program was these all questions guys uh, coming after this section i think all the questions are very important okay have a special note on all the questions the first computer spreadsheet program was visicalc option c is the answer 46 question which of the following is an example of for fourth generation language 4gl cobol power builder fortran none of the above answer is option b power builder 47th question video stands for very easy questions but is important also visual display unit answer is option b come to the 48th which language is directly understood by the computer without translation program very easy question answer is option c machine language the language uh, this is also very important the language understood directly by the computer without translation program without translation program okay so that is machine language without translation program that's very important machine language herman hollerith developed a machine called herman hollerith developed a machine called tabulating machine uh, students you do not have to go deep into this uh, any of these general awareness questions i am telling just looking uh, don't go deep into the history of uh, herman hollerith or don't just go into the what is pascal and analytical engine sensors tabulator tabulating machine please don't go like that it's not like other general awareness you are studying please only you have to study these things okay but if you would like to know more about this points you can go but for examination only these things are enough so please keep that in mind coming to the 50th question electronic delay storage automatic computer etsac was invented by etsac was invented by answer is option c john von neumann which registers can interact with a secondary memory which registers can interact with secondary memory 51st question answer is option b memory address register mar next question which flip flop is used to store data in registers answer is option a d flip flop which flip flop is used to store data in registers answer is option a d flip flop coming to the 53rd question i f i s p stands for i s p stands for answer is option d instruction set processor i s p stands for instruction set processor please have a special note this seems very important instruction set processor answer is option d coming to the next question the coded instruction is stored in very important guys the sorry not coded the decoder instruction is stored in the decoder instruction is always stored in instruction register ir okay which is not an integral part of the computer which is not an integral part of the computer answer is ups answer is ups option d as you have, could have understood what's the odd between the uh, computer cannot work with the mouse motor or cpu but it can work with without ups so it is not an integral part it's not that integral part coming to the 56 uh, next question the most frequently used instructions of a computer program are likely to be fetched from the most frequently used instructions of a computer program are likely to be fetched from answer is option d cache cache memory okay the primary aim of computer process is to convert the data into the primary aim of computer process is to convert the data into answer is option d information the main circuit board of the system unit is the main circuit board of the system unit is the main circuit board of the system unit is answer is option b motherboard that's the main board circuit board motherboard alu arithmetic logic unit and control unit have special purpose locations called answer is option a registers Re sorry registers so alu and control unit have special purpose locations called registers coming to the next question the communication line 
between CPU memory and peripherals is called. A communication line between CPU memory and peripherals is called. Option A registers, option B motherboard, option C bus, option D none of the above. So what is the answer? Answer is option C bus. Next question. A communication system that transfers data between the components in said a computer or between computers is called. Please have a special note. This is very important. A communication system that transfers data between the components in said a computer or between computers is called port, bus, registers, none of the above. Answer is option B, bus. Next question, which bus connects all the internal components of a computer such as CPU and memory to the main board or the main board means the motherboard. Answer is option C, internal box. This question is also very important, have a special note, which bus connects all the internal components of a computer such as CPU and memory to the main board. Answer is option C, internal bus. A bus that connects a computer to peripheral devices is called system bus, memory bus, front side bus, external bus. Answer is option D, external bus. S next question, external bus is also referred as, external bus is also referred as system bus, memory bus, front side bus, expansion bus. Answer is option D, expansion bus. Uh, students, you have to note on all these things I am speaking, okay? Uh, 150 questions will be covered. So, after that, uh, I have told the limit. I think it was 51 or something. You have to write down all the questions because all the questions here are very important. Coming to the 65th question. The command to assess the memory or the input or output devices is carried by. The command to assess the memory of the input or output device is carried by address bus, data bus, control bus, none of the above. What is the answer? Answer is option C, control bus. Next question, a computer bus that is used to specify a physical address. Address bus, data bus, control bus, option D, none of the above. What is the answer? A computer bus that is used to specify a physical address. Answer is option A, address bus. Next question, a bus that transfer data from one component to another or between computers is called? Option A, address bus, option B, data bus, option C, control bus, option D, none of the above. So the answer is option B, data bus. Coming to the next question, RISC stands for RISC stands for Reduced Instruction Set Computer. Answer is option D. RISC stands for Reduced Instruction Set Computer. Coming to the next question. Dash is a register for short term intermediate storage of arithmetic and logic data in a computer's CPU. Accumulator, bus, buffer, None of the above. Answer is option A, accumulator. Dash is a group of commands for a CPU in machine language. Dash is a group of commands for a CPU in machine language. Information set, instruction set, buffer, none of the above. Answer is option B, instruction set. Von Neumann, architecture say, Multiple instruction, multiple data, MIMD. Single instruction, multiple data, SIMD. Multiple instruction, single data, MIST. Single instruction, single data, SIST. So what is the answer? Von Neumann architecture says single instruction, single data, SISD. Answer is option D. Coming to the next question. Programming that actually controls the path of signals or data within computer is called programming that actually controls the path of signals or data within computer is called 
answer is option C micro program programming C I S C stands for next question is C I S C stands for answer is option D complex instruction set computer complex instruction set computer coming to the next question the register which holds the address of the location to or from which data are to be transferred is known as option a instruction register option b control register option c memory address register option d none of the above answer is option c memory address register next question an interrupt can be temporarily ignored by the counter is called an interrupt can be temporarily ignored by the counter is called maskable interrupt in, sorry maskable interrupt non maskable interrupt vectored interrupt none of the above answer is option a maskable interrupt next question the computer performs all mathematical and logical operas, operations inside its these are very basic questions. The computer performs all mathematical and logical operations inside its option A visual display unit, option B memory unit, option C output unit, option D central processing unit. Answer is option D central processing unit. Coming to the next question, which of the following unit can be used to measure the speed of a computer? BAUD, SYPS, MIPS, none of the above answer is MIPS which of the following unit can be used to measure the speed of a computer it is MIPS option C coming to the next question the circuit used to store one bit of data is known as the circuit used to store one bit of data is known as answer is C flip flop flip flop answer is option C flip flop okay Coming to the next question, the control unit controls other units by generating control and the control unit controls other units by generating control and option A command signals, option B timing signals, option C transfer signals, option D none of the above. Option B timing signals is the answer. Coming to the next question. Which of the following bus structure is usually used to connect input or output devices? Which of the following bus structure is usually used to connect input or output devices? Answer is Option A single bus. Okay. Which of the following bus structure is usually used to connect input or output devices? Option A single bus. Coming to the next question, an interface that provides input or output transfer of data directly to and from the memory unit and peripheral is termed as Answer is Option C, Direct Memory Access, DMA Next question, a basic instruction that can be interpreted by computer generally has. A basic instruction that can be interpreted by computer generally has. Answer is option A, an operand and an address. A basic instruction that can be interpreted by computer generally has an operand and an address. Okay. The load instruction is mostly, the next question is uh, 83rd question. The load instruction is mostly used to designate a transfer from memory to a processor register known as The load instruction is mostly used to designate a transfer from memory to a processor register known as Accumulator, Instruction Register, Program Counter, Memory Address Register Answer is Option A Accumulator Coming to the next question, the communication between the components in a microcomputer takes place via the address and the communication between the components in a microcomputer takes place via the address and answer is option B data bus. Please note these questions, these all are very important questions. Coming to the next question, the operation 
executed on data data stored in registers is called the operation executed on data stored in registers is called option a macro, macro operation option b micro oper operation option c bit operation option d none of the above so the answer is option b micro operation very easy and simple questions these are basic questions okay so you do not have to expect some of uh, any complicated or hard co hard questions from the computer awareness section only these questions you have to keep in mind and study coming to the next question which register keeps tracks of the instructions in the program stored in the memory which register keeps tracks of the instructions in the program stored in memory answer is option c program counter coming to the next question in which addressing mode the operand is given explicitly in the instruction in which addressing mode the operand is given explicitly in the instruction option a absolute option b immediate option c indirect option d direct it is answer b immediate when necessary the results are transferred from the cpu to main memory by input or output devices cpu shift registers none of the above so what's the answer answer is option c shift registers coming to the next question a group of bits that tell the computer to perform a specific specific operation is known as a group of bits that tell the computer to perform a specific operation is known as answer is option a instruction code coming to the next question the average time required to reach a storage location in memory and obtain its content is called dash the average time required to reach a storage location in memory and obtain its contents is called dash answer is option b access time coming to the next question 91st question the addressing mode which makes use of indirection pointers is <coughs> the addressing mode which makes use of indirection pointers is answer is option c indirect addressing mode next question which addressing mode is most suitable to change the normal sequence of execution of instructions which addressing mode is most suitable to change the normal sequence of execution of instructions option a immediate option b indirect option c relative and option d none of the above answer is option c relative coming to the next question which of the following is used as an intermediate to extend the processor bus which of the following is used as an intermediate to extend the processor bus option a gateway option b router option c connector option d bridge so what's the answer answer is option d bridge coming to the next question the method of assessing the input or output devices by repeatedly checking the status flags is this question is very important the method of assessing the input or output devices by repeatedly checking the status flags is answer is option b program control input or output coming to the next question the process wherein the processor constantly checks the status flags is called as the process wherein the processor constantly checks the status flags is called as answer is option a polling coming to the next question the branch logic that provides decision making capabilities in the control unit is known as the branch logic that provides decision making capabilities in the control unit is known as answer is option b unconditional transfer okay coming to the next question interrupts that are initiated by an instruction are interrupts that are initiated by an instruction are option d software is the answer interrupts which are initiated by an input or output device oh, sorry interrupts which are initiated by an input or output drive are 
ऑप्शन ए इंटरनल ऑप्शन बी एक्सटर्नल ऑप्शन सी बोथ ए एंड बी ऑप्शन डी नन ऑफ दी अबव सॉरी ऑप्शन डी ऑल ऑफ दी अबव वाट इज दि आंसर आंसर इज ऑप्शन बी एक्सटर्नल कंटेंट ऑफ दि प्रोग्राम कौंटर इज आडड टू दि अड्र पार्ट ऑफ दि इंस्ट्रक्षन इन ऑर्डर टू ऑप्टेन दि एफक्टीव अड्र इज कॉल्ड ऑप्शन ए रिलेटीव अड्र मोड ऑप्शन बी इंडेक्स अड्रसी मोड ऑप्शन सी रजिस्टर मोड ऑप्शन डी इंप्लड मोड सो वाट दि आंसर आंसर इज ऑप्शन ए रिलेटीव अड्र मोड कंटेंट ऑफ दि प्रोग्राम कौंटर इज आडड टू दि अड्र पार्ट ऑफ दि इंस्ट्रक्षन इन ऑर्डर टू ऑप्टेन दि एफक्टीव अड्र इज कॉल रिलेटीव अड्र मोड ऑप्शन ए Coming to the hundredth question, a register capable of shifting its binary information either to the right or the left is called a. A register capable of shifting its binary information either to the right or left is called a. Parallel register, serial register, shift register, storage register. So which option? Answer is option C, shift register. Coming to the next question, the pattern of printed lines on most products are called. That's very easy. You all know that they are barcodes. Pattern of printed lines on most products, which give details of the product, are barcodes. Coming to the next question, M I C R stands for. Answer is option D. Magnetic ink character recognition. Magnetic ink character recognition. Next question. The OCR recognizes the characters with the help of light source. The OCR recognizes the dash of the size character with the help of light source. Answer is option B. Shape. Which unit is used to measure the speed of a printer? The speed of a printer, printing speed, is uh, the unit is. DPI, CPM, PPM, none of the above. Answer is option C, PPM. Which of the following groups consists of only input devices? Answer is option D, mouse, keyboard, and scanner. These are the input devices. Okay. Coming to the next question. US refers to USB refers to a dash. USB is the we all know that usb is a port type device so you know that the usb port type or so it's very easy ocr is used for the preparation of ocr is used for the preparation of electricity bills telephone bills insurance premium all of the above all of the above is the answer because ocr is used we know that it's used for telephone electricity insurance etc coming to the next question A joystick is primarily used to. The word itself is having joystick. Have you seen the joystick? So the joystick is used for computer gaming. Option C is the answer. Coming to the next question, the dash may also be called the screen or monitor. The dash may also be called as the screen or the monitor. Scanner, display, hard disk, none of the above. The answer is option B, display. Coming to the next question, what type of devices are computer speakers or headphones? This is very impo important. I have seen these questions, some of these questions from this section, but these all are very basic questions also. Computer speakers or headphones are usually output devices. We all know that. Answer is option B, output. Which of these is a pointing and drop device? Pointing and drop device: scanner, printer, keyboard, mouse. Answer is mouse. Okay. Option D. Coming to the next question, a parallel port is most often used by a parallel port is most often used by scanner, printer, keyboard, mouse. It's very easy logic. It's answer B, printer. Coming to the next question, a hard copy would prepared on a a hard copy would be prepared on a dot matrix printer, plotter, typewriter terminal, all of the above. Which option? Answer is option D, all of the above. Coming to the next question, external devices such as printers, keyboards, and modems are known as. External devices such as printers, keyboards, and modems are known as. Answer is option C, peripherals. It's very important, very simple also. The higher the resolution of a monitor, the dash is the pixel. 
so a logic and also very easy but we all know that it's close together the pixels when the pixels are close together the resolution of the monitor will be high coming to the next question in laser printers printing is achieved by deflecting laser beam onto surface of a drum which is magnetic electric photosensitive none of the above it's very simple it's photosensitive that's why the uh, deflecting of the light then only the photosensitive means that uh, the action of the light is taking place there coming to the next question the rate at which scanning is repeated in a crt is the rate at which scanning is repeated in a crt is called answer is option b refresh rate very important question please have a look on it coming to the next question an example of peripheral equipment is an example of peripheral equipment is answer is option a printer coming to the next question trackball is an example of trackball is an example of output device printing device point in device none of the above trackball is an example of c option c pointing device coming to the next question which is the best position for operating the mouse tail away from the user tail facing the right tail facing the left tail towards the user answer is option d tail towards the user that's the best position for operating the mouse coming to the next question first computer mouse was built by this is very important i have seen this question first computer mouse was built by option a douglas engelbart so coming to the next question which of the following is not a hardware processor printer mouse java answer is option d java we know that it's a programming language okay so coming to the next question the transfer of data from a cpu to peripheral devices of computers achieved through the transfer of data from a cpu to peripheral devices of a computer is achieved through answer is option d input or output ports coming to the next question a thin plate or board that contains electronic components is called a thin plate or board that contains electronic components is called answer is option d circuit board coming to the next question a dash is used to create a digital representation of a printed document or photograph a dash is used to create a digital representation of a printed document or photograph answer is option b scanner coming to the next question the wheel located between the two standard buttons on a mouse is used to the wheel located between the two standard buttons on a mouse is used to we all know that it is for option b scrolling coming to the next question any data and instruction entered the memory of a computer is any data and instruction entered in the memory of a computer is answer is option c input coming to the next question which input device resembles an upside down mouse upside down mouse it's very simple answer is option a trackball trackball resembles an upside down mouse or inverted mouse okay coming to the next question barcode readers use light to read upcs ups posts optical marks answer is UPC is option A. Option A UPC is, is the answer. Coming to the next question. The display size of a monitor is measured. The size of the monitor that is what they call the display size. It is measured always measured diagonally. The computer or system peripherals that receive data from processing unit are called the computer or system peripherals that receives data from processing unit are called answer is option b output devices so coming to the next question a displaying screen in which text is presented in one color and background is of any other color is called text is presented in one color and background in any other color so that displaying screen is so called a monochrome screen and so it is option a led stands for very simple question what is it it's a light emitting diode so the answer is option d light emitting diode 
a marker on the computer screen used to show the current position is called a marker on the computer screen used to show the current position is called that is also very simple option is option c cursor okay so next question which of the following device is used to enter the text and numerical data in a computer nothing much to explain its answer d keyboard coming to the next question printer resolution is usually measured in the resolution of a printer uh, is very important guys characters per minute cpm pixels per inch ppd pages per minute ppm dots per inch i think uh, before 10 or 11 questions we have seen this we have explained about this but the uh, it was only abbreviation given so here's the expansion and this option d dots per inch okay coming to the next question dash is an input device that converts analog information into digital form dash is an input device that converts analog information into digital form answer is option d digitizer dash is a special type of optical scanner used to recognize the type of mark made by pen or pencil so what is that optical scanner used to recognize the type of mark made by pen or pencil option is answer c so the answer is option c optical mark reader coming to the next question which of the following is known emissive display led lcd both a and b none of the above which of the following is known emissive display answer is option b lcd coming to the next question printers print the characters by striking them on the ribbon which is then pressed on the paper dash printers the complete question is which printers or the dash printers print the characters by striking them on the ribbon which is then pressed on the paper answer is option a impact printers coming to the next question this is a very important guys please note that all the questions are important which we have discussed about uh, from 50 onwards so coming to the next question which input device is used to read information on a credit card which input device is used to read information on a credit card answer is option d magnetic stripe reader coming to the next question led stands for sorry lcd stands for it's a very easy question we all know that the answer is option d liquid crystal display coming to the next question which of the following works as mouse i think we have seen this type of question uh, related to mouse and trackball in the earlier section so we all know that the answer is option c trackball coming to the next question the work done by a computer operator is displayed in which part of computer the information which part stores that information the information we can get it from video what the work done by a computer operator visual display unit video is the answer coming to the next question which involves photo scanning of the text character by character analysis of the scanned in image and then translation of the character image into character code ocr omr barcode reader none of the above answer is ocr okay so please this uh, have not on this question it's very important so coming to the uh, next question uh, in ocr processing when a character is recognized it is converted into code which code that is the answer here binary ascii code both a and b in and of the above answer is option b ascii code so next question is laser printers and inkjet printers are an example of so we all know that it's a non impact type printers both are laser printers and inkjet printers are non impact type printers which of the following is used as principal flight control in the cockpit of many aircrafts answer is option b joystick which of the following is used as principal flight control in the cockpit of many aircrafts answer is joystick tft stands for tft stands for answer is option b thin film transistor 
coming to the last and final uh, question of this part or part 1 which of the following is used at point of sales to input product information graphic tablet micr barcode reader magnet stripe reader answer is option c barcode reader so we have completed a uh, 150 questions now so this is just a part 1 of our video uh, this is part 1 okay so we will be also having a part 2 so please go through that part 2 also to score 100% mark in any computer awareness examination for uh, you can know that uh, how many examinations are having computer awareness so please uh, go through the second part also so hope you enjoyed the video please like this video and share this video thank you